Welcome to the High End Munich 2024. Next to me is Richard Rogers from Shunyata. Nice to meet you. Uh, unfortunately, but we asked Shunyata uh, for cables as well for our cable test, but you have a lot of new stuff coming. And then uh, more music, the distributor said, yeah, let's wait because otherwise you test them and a couple of months later they won't be available. That makes perfect sense. Uh, but I know from our previous test that Shunyata really makes very, very good products. Uh, so we're going to discuss new power cables and a new Gemini this time. Yep, absolutely. And where do you want to start? Uh, let's start with the new power cables. So, um, yep, Kalen Gabriel, our designer, is his goal uh, is always to increase performance and reduce cost. His That's goal, a good goal. It is. It's a good, good approach. And he really bases his whole approach and design on proof, scientific proof, patented proof, yep. and measurements. And when he came into this industry 25 years ago, he was a little put off by the cost of other products. Uh, that, that opinion continues as we see a lot of other competitors in the market continue to increase retail prices beyond what we would pay for a car. Well, we were just discussing that during this whole high end. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? I mean, you, you might even be able to put a, well, you can put a down payment on a new house, yeah. or you can buy a pair of speaker cables. You decide. What would you? Yeah, but what, what, now let, let's talk about that after this interview, otherwise we won't be finished within an hour, I think. <laughs> Good yeah, deal. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about is the, the new line and the full loom of our entry level products starting with Gamma. Yeah. Beyond Gamma is Theta, which is basically the first step into Shinyata research will be the Gamma series of power cables, speaker cables, interconnect cables, and digital interconnects. They re represent full looms for customers at that level to be able to outfit their system with any piece or any combination of products that they might need. So what, what makes them special? The, because I, I know from our uh, Venomex test that the conductor material was very special, the, the way of winding it was, well, they, they twisted it in some sort of way, the way they attached the connectors is different from other producers, so there must be something special they put in there. Correct, so Venomex was the beginning of looking at redesigning our entry level, which will carry through our whole Luma products as an opportunity for us to really look at the conductor science, the extrusion process, and also the treatment process, the KPIP version two. Up yep. until this point, it was KPIP throughout. Um, there's, two, there's two variations of KPIP. When we receive the bulk wire, we KPIP the, the bulk wire as a spool, yep. and then once the product is finished, it gets KPIPed another three to five days, depending on the model, before it ships out to the end user. I think you should explain what KPIP is. Yeah, KPIP is kinetic, va kinetic phase inversion process, and it's a treatment proprietary that Kalen designed to condition the conductor's beyond any amount of what Burnin can do. And in the beginning when he was designing KPIP, we would burn in a product for a thousand hours and we would KPIP the same product for one day. And one day of KPIP over exceeded the performance of, yeah. you, of anything that you can gain from the burn-in process. So KPIP became a massive advantage to us and he's expanded on that with the version two process. Moving forward with one of the primary differences of the new products is what we call PMZ, and that stands for precision matched impedance. Oh, okay. that, that has to do with the way the conductors are extruded during the process of pulling the copper. And what we've done is we extrude our conductors at one quarter speed. And you do it all yourself. We do not do our extrusion process in-house. Yeah, because there are very few that actually can do that. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So that process is, is outsourced yeah. to our exact specification. And PMZ essentially is running our machines at one quarter speed versus the standard typical process of, of pulling copper ingots yeah. into, into strands of copper. And by slowing that process, it really allows us to control the, the braid of the conductors and control the the, really the purity of the surface area of the molecules of the conductor, and that alone uh, created a massive sonic improvement when comparing a conductor pulled at normal speed versus one quarter speed. 
Yeah, if you've investigated cables for five months, this is just starting to make sense, to be honest, let alone people that don't know what we now know. Uh, it is fascinating to hear that the extrusion process is in the process now of, con of uh, pulling conductors because I firmly believe it makes a huge difference in how you do that. Um, but before we get too nerdy, we only have 10 minutes. Yep. So what is the pricing of these new uh, power cables? Because, yeah, well, uh, they do make a huge difference. And I always say start at power and then go to the signal cables. I think it makes a better impact than a speaker cable, for example, which is weird, but true. What is the pricing? The, the price of the gamma in U.S. retail starts at 500, and the theta, one tier above gamma, is 1,000 for power cables. And the, the digital interconnects and the interconnects kind of follow suit. If the gamma interconnects are 350 per pair, then we're doubling that into the theta line. And you, you explained it how I explain it. In a system, to maximize performance, to hear the differences of products you may evaluate, we recommend starting with power because that's the foundation. It is weird, but it's really true. I've done this for 16 years, and if I had a dollar for every customer that was like, Richard, I've done this for 20 years, and I never realized the importance of my foundation. So I would upgrade speakers, I'd upgrade amps, I'd upgrade components over and over and over and over again. I never heard what they sounded like because I never focused on my foundation. That's the best advice I can give anyone. If you really want to maximize a system, look at power first. Absolutely. We agree on that. Gemini, power. Gemini is a new product that Kalen designed originally in a, in a four outlet box with the intent for it to be used with simple headphone systems. A lot of the time when you have eight outlets or 12 outlets or 16 outlets, there's this, there's this break in our mind that thinks, I'm not gonna buy something with eight outlets because I only need two or three or four. So he wanted to design a product not only that simplified the approach of a simpler power distributor for the flexibility of using it in a smaller system, but he took our experience with power distribution and grounding and combined it into one, one unit, which is representative of the Gemini. So if I turn this unit around, and you guys can see that there are two zones of isolation. So there's, correct? So that's gonna isolate analog and digital. And then you're going to have two grounding posts per zone. Yep, and so this, this one out here is kind of an outlier. If you were to combine two power distributors in one system, this would interconnect to the other power distributor, so you equalize the ground plane. And you're sharing the same ground plane. So if you have two different power distributors on two different dedicated lines, the minute that you interconnect the two power distributors, your electronics although benefiting from two dedicated lines, are still seeing an equalization of the ground potential between the two power, uh, the two separated lines in the system. I think, this, I, I get what you mean, but yeah. this, this will be the moment that the dealer will have to step in and actually connect everything correctly, I think. I would agree. Um, one thing that we encourage uh, all of our customers to have the opportunity to do is evaluate our products in their own system. Salesmen are good. I mean, I've been sold things that I probably shouldn't have bought because of the salesmen. Yeah. But the value of our brand is in what it does for personal customers in their own experience in a system they know. Yeah. So if I'm ever going to encourage anybody, I want them to do what you did. I want them to take products into a system they're, they're aware of. I want them to stack them up against competitor cables that cost double what Shinyata sells and make the own assessment and the own evaluation themselves. I think that's a very, very good advice and I'm pretty sure we're going to review this. So uh, more music will send us probably samples of these new, ca new cables. Really looking forward to the new interconnect and speaker cables that are coming. One advantage on the Gemini that sets it apart from anything we've ever done is the combination of being able to, rem to remove noise through the power line yeah. in, and adding noise reduction through chassis grounding. Yeah. That's what's unique about this product as an entry level is it's one thing to have a power distributor that isolates component to component interference. It's another thing to have a product that isolates component to component interference and adds that layer of, of well, chassis noise. To be honest, component to component isolation is not even there most of the time, I noticed. Uh, now, okay, let, let, we know Shunyata. Entry level is very relative. So, <laughs> what does this cost? 
US, US retail for the Gemini Model 8 is 2500 okay. That's pretty fair for a Shunyata. Absolutely. The, the, the US retail for the Gemini Model 4 is 1995 and comes with a Venom HC power cord. With a power cord? With a power cord. Okay, pretty fair, to be honest. In Europe, uh, due to the cost of outlets, the, the, the European outlets are a bit more expensive than um, the internal process, the isolation of the outlets rather than being in duplexes yeah. is a little bit more expensive. So um, beginning cost for the, for the Gemini Model 7 in Europe is 3,500 US retail. Yeah, it sucks living in, uh, the, in Europe uh, for these kinds of things, but I know that they are good, the outlets, but yeah, th th this is too bad. But looks very good, very good. And I'm, I'm pretty curious about the grounding system, how it works and how it works out in our system. We'll definitely let you know uh, how this performs, including with the new power cords. Thank you for your time. And I think we're just in time for your next meeting. So thanks.